in rise at your door. And its desire is for you. So there is the scene that desires to have you. Kuna dhambi wa inatamani ikushike. Ikufanye mtumwa. Lakini bibi nasema ya kwamba, but you should lure over it. Lakini mapenzi ya buwana, ni wewe utawale hiyo dhambi na uyambie apana. That is why the Bible says, uh, the grace of God teaches us to say no to every form of ungodliness. So how do you lure over sin? How do you overcome? Because I said, uh, the first part of this battle is to overcome sin before you bind the demons. Praise the name of the living God. And so I want to take you through a journey of how we can be able to fight the good fight. And I want to bring you a very important weapon in this battle. And I want to teach you about uh, the weapon of the word of God. Praise the name of the living God. I want to teach you about the weapon of the word of God. The Bible says in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 13, if we can read uh, Ephesians chapter 6 uh, and verse 13, Nasema, therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the day of evil. And having done all to stand. Then the Bible says, uh, stand therefore, having guarded your waist uh, with truth, having put on the blessed prayers of righteousness, and having your feet with the, having shod your feet uh, with the preparation of the gospel of peace. And then, above all, taking the shield of faith, which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Ukiangalia up to there, kire tumeona ni the armor. Ambayo yuko na the boots, ambayo yuko na helmet, ambayo yuko na blitzprit, ambayo yuko na shield ya kukinga. Bado paka hapo, haujapatiwa siraha ya kupigana. Kire ambacho umepatiwa ni ama. Ama ni ya kujikinga. Lakini verse 17, Praise the name of the living God. Inakupatia siraya kupigana. Inasema, take the helmet of salvation. It is part of the armor. And uh, the sword of the, and that spirit is capital S, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Bwana sifuwe sana. Kwa hivyo bada ya kufa the armor, ile siraya uwa tunapigana na inaitwa nini? The Sword of the Spirit that is there. The Word of God. Bwana sana. So, buduki yako, guruneti zako, mabomu yako, yako hapi, katika neno. Bwana sifuwe sana. Na kwa hivyo ningependa kusema ya kwamba, ni vizuri kama vile bibi nasema in Colossians chapter 3, and verse 16, ni vizuri kuwa na wingi wa neno dani yako. The Bible says, let the word of Christ dwell in you literally. As you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom. And as you sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Let the word of God dwell in you. Wangapi wamejua, ata nikihubiri hapa. Wakati ninahubiri, roho wa mungu yuko juu yangu. Hua ananisaidia, lide neno nikonaro dani yangu. Sio lide neno niliweka bibiria nikararia kwa kichwa hivi. Hali kuingia. Lide liliingia, nilide nimesoma. There are scriptures when I am preaching, I quote. Some of them I did not even have any plan. But as I preach, as I teach, the Holy Spirit from the store huh, of the word of God in my heart, even when I am praying, even when I am waging warfare, from the store of the word of God in me, 
the Holy Spirit can pick a word. And that word, he uses that word as a sword. So, it doesn't matter how much anointing comes upon you. Kama hakuna neno juu yako, utaanza tu kuzunguka hapa na mgu moja. Ugisema, lika, laini, lika, lika. Na hakuna neno. Ya? Yeah. Raini ya baba. Praise the name of the living God. Rasima roho wa mungu wakishuka juu yako. Anakuwa na neno anakuiken. Anakuwa na neno anachukua. Even angels respond to the word of God. Praise the name of the living God. And I want to encourage you. Make your Bible your friend. Uwe rafiki. Na uwe na bibiria yako. Ambayo huwa unasoma. Mimi hata ukiona ni kibeba hii iPad hapa. Niko na bibiria yangu. In fact, me, my Bible ni mekana esa hizi from 19, it 1995. Iyo ni miaka kama ngapi? Kalibu? Karibu miaka? 29 years. Si kuna mtu haku wamezaliwa wakati huo. Na Bible yangu mina kubuka iyo Bible ni konae, nirinunua na pesa ya run. Singe afford. Wakati mungu aliniambia ameniita, nisome neno. Nilienda nikanunua bibiria ine. Iyo bibiria nakubuka nilinua elfu mbili na miambili. Nikanunua hiyo, nikanunua version zingine kadha. Izo zingine sijuizi meanda wapi. Lakini moja nimedumu na ye. Mbwana asifuwe sana. Uliza jirani yako. Uko na bibiria manisimu tu na bebanga hapa. Kwanza mulika muizi na kuanga na bibiria kweli. Bwana asifiwe sana. Ni vizuri unajua tu, tumeingia digital na watu wengi tunataka tu kuwa fancy. Ha? Kuwa na Biblia yako that you can Biblia yangu ukiangalia ni mema kwingine na red na blue na green, kwingine na mark mara mbili unasoma mara ya kwanza unapata ufunuo unasoma mara ya pili. Praise the name of the living God. Haleluya. Na nilisema neno la Mungu huwa linafanya kazi linatumia mirango miine katika maisha yako. Neno la Mungu linapitia mlango wa macho kusoma. Praise the name of the living God. Neno la Mungu linatumia mlango wa masikio kusikiliza. As you listen to the sermon, as you listen to the audio Bible, linatumia mlango wa masikio. Neno la Mungu linatumia mlango wa mdomo kudeclare. Unalitangaza neno la Mungu. Na mlango wa ini ambao ni mlango mkubwa, neno la mungu linatumia, ni mlango wa mawazo yako, meditation of the word. Praise the name of the living God. Unasoma kifungu cha maandiko, arafu unanyamaza unafikiria, mungu alifanya nini hapa, neno hili na manisha nini. Praise the name of the living God. Hapo ndiyo neno huwa linaingia dani ya mtu, hata kumbadirisha. Because the Bible says in the book of Hebrews, uh, chapter 4 and verse 12 of that the word of God is alive. The, the word of, uh, for the word of God is living and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates uh, even to the dividing soul and spirit, uh, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Praise the name of the living God. So the word of God is alive. Now, hata kabla tuja emphasize sana juu ya neno la Mungu. Remember the Bible says the power of life and death is in your tongue. Words have creative power. Hata ukienda kwa mchawi, kile huwa anatumia ni kunena maneno. Na hiyo maneno inaezaleta kifo, inaezaleta uharibifu, ni maneno tu. Mchawi yapigi watu na rungu. Mchawi yapigi watu na buduki. Anatumia makafara yake na madhabahu yake kutangaza mambo ya raana. Ata baram, alipo hitu anabarak, aende ya raani, alichengewa madhabahu. Ili katika yale madhabahu, anene maneno ya kuraani, ili ya dhofishe wana wa Israeli. Hii na kuonyesha, kuna nguvu katika maneno. Ata jamii zetu, wakati mungine huwa tunaambiwa, kuna mutu aliacha neno ama raana. Na inafuata watu. Because maneno yako na nguvu. Na sasa je, 
si zaidi neno la Bwana ambalo amesema neno litokalo kinywa changu halitanirudia buli bila kuyatimiza yale limekusudia the bible says uh, he sent uh, his word and healed uh, his people mungu anatumia neno lake kama mtumishi wake analituma the bible says in the book of genesis uh, uh, chapter 1 and verse 2 Praise the name of the living God. Genesis uh, chapter 1 and verse 2. Uh, now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep. And the spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And then the Bible says, And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. When the earth was without form and full of darkness, God used his word. He said, let there be. The word has creative power. Kuna jinsi unaweza kuchukua neno la Mungu na unaanza kulinenea katika hali yako, kulinenea katika maisha yako na linaleta mabadiliko makubwa. Never underestimate the power of the word of God. Praise the name of the living God. In fact, you should not even underestimate the power or the words that you speak maneno ni kitu ambacho mtu anafaa kuchunga because the dna of this world imetengenezwa na nguvu za maneno praise the name of the living god hallelujah hebrews chapter 11 and verse 3 dunia iliumbwa namna gani iliumbwa kwa neno la mungu the bible says by faith we understand that the universe was formed at god's command so that what is seen was not made of what is visible. Mungu aliamuru pale mwanzo so that the, the universe was formed at God's command. So the DNA of this world is a word. That is why kila kitu katika dunia hii kinaweza kusikia. Yesu alinenea muti, ukasikia, ukasema yesa, ukakauka. Praise the name of the living God. Yesu alinenea bahari, ikasema yesa, ikatulia. Hakuna kitu akiwezi kusikia. Ndipo sasa Yesu akasema utanenea mlima na mlima utangoka. Utanenea hali especially ukijua kukombine neno la Mungu katika maombi yako utaona impact katika maombi yako. Praise the name of the living God. Shida ile tuko naye kubwa sana ni ya kwamba tuko na waombezi wengi ambao hawasomi neno bana pesa sifa haleluya so hata wanapokemea shetani huwa wanatumia maneno ya kutisha shetani we goma kemunya we wewe shetani mujinga yani unakuta mtu vile ana, anataka kupigana na shetani hata shetani anakuangalia anakuchekerea tu praise the name of the living god haleluya shetani hawezi kumshida ati kwa matusi Shetani unamushinda kwa neno. Ata Yesu, Matthew 4.4, 4, wakati alikutana na shetani, alimuambia, it is written. And Jesus said about 11 times in the New Testament, it is written. Jesus answered, it is written. Man does not live on blood alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Verse 5. Then the devil took him to the holy city and had him stood on the highest point of the temple. Then the Bible says, If you are the son of God, he said, Throw yourself down. For it is written, He will command his angels. Huyo ni shetani anasema. So ata shetani anajua bibili. Na anaweza kukonfuse na bibili. He will command his angels concerning you. And they will lift up you up in their hands. So that you not strike your foot against a stone. Now yes, what it's Jesus answered, it is also written. Praise the name of the living God. Do not put the Lord, you are God, to test. Praise the name of the living God. Again, the devil took him into a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. And this I will give you, he said, if you bow down and worship me. Then verse 10, Jesus said, away from me, Satan, for it is written. Worship the Lord your God 
and serve him only. Yesu alipigana na shetani kwa kusema it is written. It is written. It is written. Praise the name of the living God. Wewe hupigana na shetani namna gani? Hmm? Wewe shetani yodoa ujinga wako hapa? Nani amekwambia shetani ni mujinga? Ha? Huh? Bwana asiye sana. Unajaribu kutumia maneno yako we mwenyewe ya kujaribu kupigana hii vita na sio vita ya mwina damu. Patia roho mtakatifu the sword of the spirit and that is a word of Do you know there are people who are born again for 20 years but they cannot quote 10 scriptures. Ungetaka nifanye mtihani? Bwana asifiwe sana. Hallelujah. Uambiwe quote 10 scriptures that you know on top of your mind. Bwana asifiwe sana. Ama 20 ama 30. Kwanza ukiwa mhubiri unafaa kuwa neno ni kama muto linatiririka linatoka da. ukisimama neno linakuwa ni kama muto linatoka tu. Kwa sababu hata wanafunzi walisema we are not going to serve the tables but we are going to give ourselves to the ministry of the word and prayer. So if you are in ministry you must give yourselves to the ministry of the word and prayer. Praise the name of the living God. Otherwise you cannot be effective in the ministry. Kama maandiko yako ni ile ya kuandika tu kwa karatasi, karatasi kakipotea usimame hapa kwa madhabahu, unaanza kuambia watu pole. Gai mojo here. Domereli ni ora. Ujumbe umefanya nini? Umepotea. Kwa sababu ujumbe wako ni wa nini? Kuandika kwa karatasi. Praise the name of the living God. Neno razima liwe kwa wingi kwa moyo wako. Nikienda mahali popote na sina bibiria. Nitahubiri. Na nitahubiri neno la mungu. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Kwa sababu neno la mungu liko dani yangu. Na linafaa kuwa dani yangu kwa wingi. Let the word of God dwell in you literally. Hata kama utajua scripture sivo, Matthew 4.10, inasema, at least yu unajua, iko kwa Biblia. Praise the name of the living God. Lakini siyo kusema, imeandikwa katika kitabu cha Musa. Vitabu zingine ambazo haziko. Ha? Ama unatoka kwa mujengo, ukikuja kuhubiri, unasema, Bibiria inasema katika kitabu cha babuli. Na babuli ni cement. Because you are too busy to read the word of God. Jina abana ipewe sifa. Wapendwa na wambea neema ya kusoma neno. Na kwa sababu the word of God is spiritual. There is a battle in reading the word. I can tell you. Unaweza kushika gazeti usome, vitabu usome, ukishika bibiria unaanza kusikia usingizi, unasikia a lot of resistance. Mawazo yako unasikia ni kama kuna vita pale. Ninatangaza vita vyote vya kusoma neno, vifike mwisho, I raise your mind, I raise your heart to the understanding of the word of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the grace to lead the word of God in the mighty name of Jesus. I unlock your mind in the mighty name of Jesus to the understanding of the scripture. I raise divine revelation. I raise the Holy Spirit who is the author of the word that you help you now in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, uh, to lead the word uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, can you declare my mind? Uh, you are set free in the mighty name of Jesus uh, to understand, uh, to lead uh, the word of God. Uh, every yoke of the enemy over your mind. Uh, let it be broken. Guvuzile upigana na neno katika mawazo. Zote na zikata ondoka. Achiria watu wa mungu tuta Soma neno, tutakura neno, neno ndiyo mkate, in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the living God. May God give you the grace to lead the word. And if you are prayerful, 
as much as you pray, lead the word. Usikuwe hapa unaomba six hours. Ha? Na huna nafasi ya kusoma Biblia. Please, lead the Bible, pray. Pray, lead the Bible. Lead the Bible, meditate on the word of God. You will see the impact. Praise the name of the living God. Sasa, tukianzia vita via neno, uh, tukianzia neno kama upanga, tunaanzia Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 26. Uh, mahali ambapo nilishiriki sana mchana, ya vile preparation ya warfare inafaa. The Bible says, uh, let's begin from verse 25. Uh, Bibina sema from verse 25, uh, husband loves your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. Then he did what? To make her holy. How? Cleansing her by washing with water through the word. Kwa hivyo ni kumanisha ya kwamba you can be able to wash or to cleanse yourself through the word. Neno la Mungu ni kama maji linaweza kukusafisha. Ndio roho wa Mungu ni kama maji pia, lakini roho hutumia neno kutusafisha. That is why John chapter 15 verse 2. Yesu mwenyewe aliambia wanafunzi wake John 15 and verse 2 um, he cuts every branch. Uh, let's read from verse 1. I am the true vine and my father is a gardener. Then akasema, uh, he cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that bear, uh, does bear fruit he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. Then verse akasema, you are already clean because of the word I have spoken to. You are already clean. Unajua uneza chini ya mafundisho na unapo jifungua kwa neno ra mungu Neno ra mungu lina kusafisha. Praise the name of the living God. Na hapo ndiyo vita vietu vya kiro huwa vinaanzia. Zina vita tunaanza baada ya kusafishwa. Baada ya kuoga. Praise the name of the living God. Na diposa, ni vizuri wakati mwingine kukubali kusikia injili ya kukuosha. Sio injili tu ya kukupaka mafuta. Unajua kuna injili ya kupaka watu mafuta. Na sometimes unahubiria watu injiri ya kuwapaka mafuta na ni wachafu. Hata we mwenyewe, dio ujipake mafuta, siwa unaoga kwanza. So usifurahia ati ya kwamba injiri ya unahubiriwa, utabalikiwa, utainuliwa, utaenda bali. Diposa mchana tulianza na neno la kutuosha. Neno linano zungumuza juu ya zambi na uovu na kutuonya na kutukemea. Hilo ndiyo neno huwa linaosha kanisa. Lakini tukinenewa tu neno tutabalikiwa, tutainuliwa, tutaenda bali, tutapakwa mafuta. Ilhali sisi ni wachafu. Tutaanza kutoa uvundo. Na shetani anapenda mahali pachafu. Zamani mama yangu. Angeona ninapiga inzi kwa meza na kitamba. Ananiambia we chukua kitamba. Panguza meza. Uchafu ukiondoka. Inzi zitaenda. Kwa sababu kile zinafuata. Ni uchafu. Wakati mwingine mapepo mengine. Ya taondoka. Bada ya uchafu kuondoka. Uchafu ukiondoka. Unakuta mtu wa Kwa sababu shetani. Hakai mahali pasafi. Praise the name of the living God. Anapenda mahali pachafu. Na vile unajiosha kwa neno. Injiri ya kuosha watu. Ni injiri ya kuwakomboa. Praise the name of the living God. Na inajua kuna watu wengi wanataka kusema ni yombewe deliverance. Ni yombewe deliverance. Ni tolewe mapepo. Ata ukitolewa. Na ubaki kuwa mchafu. Itarudi tu. There is a way the word is able to deliver you. The more you receive the word. And the word is washing you. The enemy will not find a place. Because the enemy does not live in a clean place. Praise the name of the living God. The enemy does not live in a holy place. Ye, shetani anapenda mahali pachafu. Na uchafu kiondoka atakuwacha. There is a way you can teach people the word. And slowly their sickness, their poverty. 
praise the name of the living God. They are oppression. In Aondoka. That is why Jesus said in the book of John, chapter 831. John chapter 831. Yesu walisema namna gani? Yesu walisema mkika katika neno to the Jews who had believed in him. Jesus said, if you hold to my teaching, you are really my disciples. Then what will happen? Verse 32. Then, the Bible says, then you know the truth and the truth will set you free. Praise the name of the living God. Mukika katika mafundisho yangu. Kuna mafundisho ukikaa chini yake. Ukombozi wako utaendelea kufanyika. And finally, you'll be totally free. That is why it is important to have a balanced diet of the gospel. As much as tuahubiria watu kubalikiwa na kuenda bali, razima tuahubirie neno la kuwasafisha, neno la kuwaosha, Kwa sababu katika kuoshwa, kuna nguvu zina kuacha. Jina rabwana lipewe sifa. So our warfare begins there. Kuna mapepo utayashinda kwa kuoga. Na unaoga kwa neno. Bwana sifuwe sana. And then, there is another level pia. Ya warfare, ambayo ningetaka kukuonyesha katika neno rabwana. Ita kuonyesha levels kama tatu, arafu tutaweza kuomba. Na uzishike zote, tuzitumie na tutaona matokeo usiku wa leo jina la bwana lipewe sifa levo nyingine ya neno ambayo inaleta ushindi ni wakati we receive the word as the light of god in our lives praise the name of the living god shetani hapendi mahali kuna nuru bwana apewe sifa shetani hapendi mahali kuna nini Kuna nuru. Psalms 119 and verse 115. Psalms 119 and verse 115. Asema, away from me, you evildoers, that, that I may keep the commandments of my God. Praise the name of the living God. Sustain me according to your promise. And I will live. Do not let my hopes be dashed. Praise the name of the living God. So the psalmist here is saying from verse 15. Huh? Go back to verse. Away from me, you evildoers, that I may keep the commands of my God. Praise the name of the living God. Kuna uovu unaushinda wakati unaweka ahadi na agano zabwana. Praise the name of the living God. Let's jump to um, uh, 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 Psalms 130. Um, that one, 19, 130. Uh, this is a, one of the Psalms ambayo hiko na, na mistari mingi. Inasema, the unfolding of your words gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. That means the unfolding of your words, uh, they give light. And you know the Bible says in the book of John chapter 1 and verse 5, Praise the name of the living God. John chapter 1 verse 5. What does the Bible say about the light? The light shines in darkness. But the darkness has not understood it. Give us in New King James Version. And the light shines in the darkness. And the darkness did not comprehend it. Praise the name of the living God. Wakati nuru inaangaza katika giza. Giza... Hata giza huwa inashidangwa sana na mambo ya nuru. Unajua ukikuja hapa ndani, kukiwa na giza hii stima zote zimezimwa, ukiakisha stima pa, haujuangi giza mahali imeenda. Uwezi yakisha stima rafu na unaitisha. Wapi kijiko ya kutoa giza? Fungue ni milango toe giza. Ati unanza kusukuma giza itoke nje hapana. Giza ukiakisha tu nuru pa, haujui mahali giza ime. Na neno ra mungu ni nuru Neno la Mungu the psalm said uh, the, your word is a lamp to my feet You know once light enters into your life that is one of the ways you start overcoming the enemy when you know what Jesus has done for you when you know how to proclaim the promises of God over your life that is how you overcome darkness in your life. Because the Bible 
says uh, that light shines in darkness and darkness has not been able to overcome the light. Praise the name of the living God. So, ata kutangaza tunen ramungu, the entrance to the word of God bringeth the light and understanding the simple. Praise the name of the living God. Kuna mambo katika maisha yetu wa kristo ambayo huwa tunayashinda wakati nuru ya neno inaingia katika maisha yetu. Praise the name of the living God. That light, that illumination, you know light is also knowledge. The reason we are called dark continent is not because there is darkness, physical darkness, but because there is a level, a threshold of knowledge ambayo pengine Africa imekuwa nyuma. Na so, Africa inaonekana ikiwa na giza kwa sababu ya level ya knowledge ambayo iko. Kwa hivyo ni kumaanisha kwamba unapoendelea kujua neno na kulitangaza katika maisha yako kuna kiwango cha nuru kinaingia iwe ni juu ya magonjwa iwe ni juu ya umasikini iwe ni juu ya vifungo vya giza na giza inaanza kuondoka katika maisha yako praise the name of the living god receive the light of the word of god may this light continue to shine the more the light shines the more darkness has to leave your life in the mighty name of jesus when you know what the lord has done then you can say because my redeemer lives i shall face tomorrow then you can declare i shall not die but i shall live and declare the praises of the most high god in the mighty name of jesus let the right of the word of God uh, shine in your life. Bwana asifuwe sana. Wakati nuru ya neno inaingia, unajua haya, kumbe maisha ya mtu, yanaweza kufungwa ama kufuatwa na mambo ya mekua katika vizazi vingine. Hiyo ni nuru. Na hiyo ni nafasi ya kwanza ya kushinda. The Bible says you shall know the truth. The truth will set you free. Our freedom begins when the light of God shines in our life. Praise the name of the living God. It's not that the enemy is, is, is powerful, but the Bible says, my people perish because of lack of, they don't know. Lakini wakijua, leo kuna ukweli unaweza ingia dani ya maisha yako, ubadilike. Praise the name of the living God. Maisha yako ya badilike kabisa. Wengi wetu ukituona kuna ukweli uliingia ndani ya maisha yetu na giza haingeweza kusimama giza ya umasikini giza ya kushindwa giza ya aibu giza ya magonjwa haingeweza kukaa ndani yetu tena kwa sababu kuna nuru nyingi ya neno la Bwana imeingia ndani ya maisha yetu pokea hiyo nuru ifanye kazi katika maisha yako so even when you sit and you are listening to the word of god the light the entrance to the word bring the light and even understanding to the simple you know the truth and the truth will set you free praise the name of the living god so wapendwa neno liko na uwezo wa kuangaza katika maisha yako na shetani because he is the master of the works of darkness. Praise the name of the living God. He does not want to be exposed in the light. And once the light shines in your life, lazima anze kuondoka. Praise the name of the living God. So hiyo ni njia ya kwanza ambayo huwa tunashindana katika hii vita. Ndiyo the psalmist akasema, nimeficha neno lako ndani yangu ni sije nikakutendea dhambi wakati neno la Mungu liko ndani yako kuna kuna hata giza ikijaribu kuingia hata uovu ukijaribu kuingia kuna vile tu unashindwa kuingia katika maisha yako because shetani nataka kukaa mahali pa kona giza matendo ya giza praise the name of the living god yana flourish katika giza lakini ukiwa na nuru ya neno ndani yako matendo ya giza ya kija hayawezi kufanikiwa praise the name of the living god i expose every work of darkness uh, in your life uh, by the light uh, of the word of god uh, 
in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, I decree and declare that darkness uh, shall never prevail uh, against your life uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Can you speak to God and tell God, uh, let your eyes shine in my life, uh, in every dark corner of my life, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, the Bible says, in your right, uh, we see right. Uh, in the right of the word of God, uh, our destinies will shine. Uh, the light of the righteous uh, will shine brighter and brighter until the full dawn uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, can you declare and declare that the light of the word of God uh, is shining in my life uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, the light of the word of God uh, is shining in my life. No darkness shall prevail in my life. No works of darkness. No works of evil. In the mighty name of Jesus. Reka maganda bashanda. Wapendwa kuna watu walisikiza hiri neno. Wakiwa wagonjwa. Wakapona. Hata kabra waje wekerewa mikono. Reka maganda. Simutu wapoke uponyaji wake usiku wa leo. Kwa sababu kwa mapigo ya Yesu Kristo. Tumeponywa. Na ukijua umeponywa kwa mapigo ya Yesu Kristo magonjwa lazima ya kuachirie katika jina la Yesu ukijua alifanyika masikini achukue umasikini wako basi vifungo vya umasikini hazina uwezo juu ya maisha yako ukijua alitundikwa katika muti akafanyika raana haijarishi nani aliacha raana hiyo nuru ya kujua ya kwamba alifanyika raana raana zinavunjika Rana zinavunjika Rana zinavunjika Kwa sababu ya nuru ya neno Kwa sababu ya nuru ya neno Shata ramaganda ba Yesu wakawambia wanafunzi Nyinyi mumekua wasafi Reka maganda Kwa sababu ya neno nimewanenea Wapendwa tunapopokea neno rabwana Kuna ushindi katika neno Oh my God Kuna watu nimesikia wakitoa ushuda Wakati ulikuwa unahubiri Oh my God Nilipokea uponyaji Wakati ulikuwa unahubiri Nilisikia nimefunguliwa Reka maganda basanda Kwa sababu nuru ya neno inapokuja kuangaza giza lazima iondoke wakati unalielewa neno la Bwana na nuru yake inaangaza na unaelewa nguvu za Mungu hautaogopa kile shetani anaweza kufanya na nguvu za giza zitashindwa katika maisha yako katika jina la Yesu natangaza nuru ya neno ikaangaze katika maisha yako giza haiwezi kustahimili nuru giza haiwezi kustahimili nuru matendo ya giza haiwezi kukaa mahali kuna nuru shatara baganda reka maganda riba handa bazanda reka maganda bashanda that is why we need to hear the anadatarated gospel tunahitaji kusikia neno la Mungu lililo halisi kwa sababu hilo neno kuna kazi huwa linafanya katika maisha yetu reka maganda riba zanda reka maganda bashanda receive the right of the word of God in the name of Jesus. So the word works in your life, number one, by cleansing. Kwa kusafishwa, kuna mapepo huwa inafuata tu uchafu. Kama ile vile inzi zinafuata uchafu. Ha? Na kuna inzi ya inatofauti. Kuna inzi tukiona, tulikuwa tunasema hii ni ya cho. Inataka huwa uchafu mbaya. Naye kuna mapepo inafuata tu uchafu. Ukioga na neno maisha yako yanaanza kubadilika. Number two, nuru. Kazi ya shetani inafanyika mahali kuna giza. Praise the name of the living God. And then number three and number four, Jeremiah 23 20, uh, 29. Jeremiah 23 and verse 29. Mungu anasema, "Is not my word like fire?" declares the Lord and like a hammer that break a lock in pieces hapa neno la Mungu tunapatiwa mifano miwili ya kwamba neno la Mungu kwanza ni kama moto na neno la Mungu pia ni kama nyundo praise the name of the living god haleluya unajua moto ni mtumishi mzuri wengi wetu hapa tunajua kutumia moto kupika kufanya mambo mengi hata huu tunatumia hapa kwa hizi viombo ni moto aina fulani wa stima lakini pia moto 
unaweza kuleta destruction praise the name of the living god so neno la mungu linaweza kutumika kuku sijui nitumie language ya kusema likupike ufanyike kile mungu amekusudia neno la mungu linaweza kukubadilisha praise the name of the living god there is a lot of transformation i experience a lot of transformation in my life by just reading the word and meditating Nige, wakati mgini, I would feel, especially when I'm praying and fasting and meditating on the word, I would feel even the life of the word of God moving in my mind, changing my mind. That is why the Bible says, let the eyes of your heart be enlightened. When the Bible is talking about the heart, it talks about the mind, the emotions, and your will. There is a way you need your mind to be changed. For the Bible says, we have the mind of Christ. Do you know some of us, because of our backgrounds, we are so limited in the way we see things until our mind is transformed. Wakati Sora alikuwa nasema, mimi suwezi kuwa mfanme. Samuel yali muambia, roho wa mungu atakuja juu yako, atakubadirisha, atakufanya mutu muingine. Kuna vile roho wa mungu utumia neno kama siraha ya kutubadirisha. Kwa sababu, Shida nyingine siyo tu mapepo katika maisha yetu. The Bible says, as a man thinketh, so he is. Kuna watu shida yao kubwa ni limitation in their mind. The way they see themselves as unworthy. Huh? Unajiona we haustahili, haufai, hawezi tumiwa na mungu. Limitation, hawezi yona mungu, hakifanya mambo makubwa kupitia maisha yako kwa sababu mawazo yako inakwambia haujasoma hauna pesa angalia jamii umetoka lakini neno la Mungu linakuja kama moto linakuja kukubadilisha linakuja kutransform mawazo yako praise the name of the living god na hapo unaanza kuwa na ushindi juu ya shetani kwa sababu umeanza kuwa na mawazo ya Kristo Praise the name of the living God. Na mawazo ya Kristo ni mawazo ya ushindi. Sio mawazo ya kushindwa. Praise the name of the living God. Na kataa mawazo ya kushindwa dani yangu. Katika jina na Yesu Kristo. Because as a man thinketh, so he is. Some people, the biggest problem they have is not even the devil. They are strong. ziko katika mawazo. The way we, we were brought up the challenges we have gone through, the way we see ourselves, praise the name of the living God. We, there are so many limitations in our life that even when God is speaking to us, ata wakati mungu anaongea, ni kama unaangalia ni nani anazungumuziwa. Because wewe unachiangalia unaona, haiwezi kuwa mimi. Bwana asifuwe sana. Lakini siraha ya neno, inaweza kukubadisha. Pia moto ni destructive. Wakati nunataka kuharibu vitu, kuchoma, Kama vile Samson alifungiria buwea miatatu vizinga vya moto. Zika choma gano ya ofristi. Wakati tunatangaza neno. Neno la mungu is like a fire. Linateketeza. Praise the name of the living God. Kazi ya shetani. Jina la buwana lipewe sifa. Diposa unasikia wakati mungine. When the word of God is preached under the anointing of the Holy Spirit, sometimes even people cannot withstand. Utasikia wengine wanapiga nduru. Utasikia wengine wanalia. Utasikia mapepo mengine anasema lazima tutoke sasa. Kwa sababu gani, nuru ya neno rabwana, ikiwa kombai na moto, inateketeza. Praise the name of the living God. And then the Bible says, uh, the, the, my word is like a hammer that breaks the locks into pieces. What is the work of a hammer? The work of a hammer is to build also and to destroy. Nyundo inakuanga na kujenga na kubomo. Kwa hivyo neno na mungu, linaweza kukujenga. Acts chapter 20 and verse 32. Matendo ya mitume ishirini. Mustari wa dharadhini na mbili. Bibina sema hivi. Now, I commit you to God and to the word of his grace which can build you up and give you an inheritance among all those who are sanctified. The word of God can build you up and 
give you an inheritance among all those uh, who are sanctified. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. When you sit under the word of God, the word of God is able to build you up. And you become totally a different person. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. The word of God is able to build your capacity, to enlarge your capacity, to help your thinking and perception to change concerning yourself, concerning your destiny, until you see yourself the way heaven is seeing you. Praise the name of the living God. The word of God also is able to destroy Jeremiah chapter 1. And verse 9, Jeremiah chapter 1, and verse 9, Bibina Sema Juya, Jeremiah Liandua, Then the Lord reached out his hand and touched my mouth and said, Nenda haraka sana. Then the Lord reached out his hand and touched my mouth and said to me, Now, I have done what? I have put words in you. And then from those words, verse 10, what are you going to do? See today, I appoint you over nations and kingdoms to uproot, to tear down, to destroy and overthrow, build and praise the name of the living God. So Jeremiah na ambiwa, kuna maneno nimeweka kwa kinywa chako na kupitia haya maneno utabomoa, utaharibu, utangoa, utangusha na utajenga. Na utapanda. Anatumia nini? Nyundo ya mane. Praise the name of the living God. Tunabomoa michengo yote ya adui. Katika maisha yetu. Katika jina la yesu. Michengo ya umasikini. Michengo ya magonjwa. Michengo ya rana. Tunaibomoa. Kupitia neno rabwana. Michengo ya mababu. Michengo ya vizazi. Na vizazi. Ambayo haiku jengwa. Katika msingi wa kiungu. Tuna ibomoa, tuna iharibu, tuna iangusha, neno rabwana, liko na uwezo, waku bomoa, waku haribu, waku angusha, na baadae kuchenga na kupanda. The Bible says, you shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass. Kuchenga ni wakati unatangaza, kile neno limesema juu ya maisha yako. Praise the name of the living God. Unaanza kutangaza. I shall not die. I shall live and declare the praises of the most high God. No weapon forge against me that will prosper and I refute every tongue that I have risen against me in judgment. Let the poor say I am rich. Let the sick say I am healed in the name of Jesus. You can build your life uh, through the word of God uh, and you can destroy the works of the enemy through the word of God. Uh, hey, I hand to you over tonight uh, the sword uh, of the spirit uh, that is the word of God. Uh, receive the sword. Shatara baganda basanda ba Rika maganda bashanda Reka maganda kama unataka kuleta uharibifu katika ufanme wa shetani beba neno kama moto beba neno kama nuru ah beba neno kama nyundo reka maganda rima reka maganda bashanda beba neno kama maji unapotumia neno na kuleta ma, ma, kuleta kuondoa uchafu shetani ataondoka uchafu tuna uondoa hata kwa toba hata kwa kukiri dhambi zile zimefanywa katika jamii yetu katika taifa letu tunaondoa uchafu na shetani anakosa nafasi kile alikuwa anajishikiria kinaondoka usiku wa leo kuna mambo lazima tubomoe usiku wa leo lazima kuna mambo tuharibu usiku wa leo kuna mambo lazima tuangushe katika jina la Yesu nani anapokea upanga upanga wa roho mtakatifu 
usikubali tu kujazwa na roho lazima upatie roho mtakatifu upanga wa neno shatarabaganda rima reka maganda this is how i win my battles reka maganda i win my battles through the word of god reka maganda rima reka maganda bashanda reka maganda bashanda reka maganda rima this is how i overcome the evil one reka maganda because i can tell him it is written it is written it is written it is written jesus became a casa reka maganda corossians chapter 2 and verse 14 it is written reka maganda mazanda in corossians chapter 2 verse 14 having cancelled the written code with its regulation that was against us and the pseudo post was he took it away nailing it uh, to the cross uh, Jesus has taken away everything uh, that was written against you every writing of the enemy over you arrive uh, has been deleted uh, by the blood of Jesus damu ya Yesu imevuta rana zote maneno yote yameandikwa kinyume na maisha yako katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu fungua kinywa chako simama na miguu yako nataka tuombe dakika chache tukitumia neno la Mungu na uone ushindi mkubwa tutakao upata usiku wa leo Shamagandarima Koriba Shanda Baganda Rika Baganda Bashanda Rika Maganda Rabashanda Rika Baganda Riba Zanda Neno la Mungu linaenda kuteketeza kuteketeza kila vifungo Oh my God Neno linaenda kubadilisha wengi Rika Maganda wale wamekubali neno hili wale wamekubali shatara maganda mafundisho haya reka maganda you are going to finish strong reka maganda rima reka maganda rima amini neno la bwana reka maganda bashanda na neno la bwana litaleta matunda reka maganda rima sasa ninatangaza pokea roho mtakatifu wacha nguvu za roho mtakatifu zishuke juu ya kila mmoja wenu mara ya kwanza in the name of jesus let the holy ghost come upon you In the mighty name of Jesus, reka maganda bashanda, reka maganda rima. Mara ya pili pokea nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu. Reka maganda bashanda, reka maganda rima. The Holy Ghost is a fighter. Bibi nasema ya kwamba wakati wana wa Israeli walikuwa jangwani, Roho wa Mungu aliwageuka, akawapiga. Roho wa Mungu anaweza pigana vita. Reka maganda rima, reka maganda rima, reka maganda da rima sasa sasa roho wa Mungu akiwa juu yako pokea upanga wa neno anza kutangaza neno anza kuomba na neno anza kupigana na neno anza kutangaza neno ah do 
dunia ilikuwa giza my god lakini Mungu akasema let there be light weka maganda anza kutangaza nuru kila mahali kuna giza kila giza katika maisha yako kila giza giza ya magonjwa giza ya umasikini giza ya uovu giza ya raana weka maganda rima tangaza neno la Bwana tangaza kazi ya msaraba tangaza 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 neno tangaza neno nani ataomba na neno nani ataongozwa apigane na upanga weka maganda apigane na upanga apigane na upanga apigane na upanga as you declare the word of god the word of god weka maganda rima weka maganda rima as you declare the word of God I declare today that he who is in me is greater than he who is in the world he who is in me is greater is greater is greater I shall overcome the world the systems of this world I shall overcome them the powers in this world the powers of this age I shall overcome them because he who is in me is greater is greater is greater is greater is greater reka maganda rima reka maganda rima reka maganda because I serve the Lord he will bless my food he will bless my water in the mighty name of Jesus he will give me my full life span there will be no barrenness in my life because I serve the Lord I will be supernaturally fruitful in the name of Jesus declare and declare the word declare and declare the word reka maganda reka maganda rima reka maganda rima reka maganda kama wewe ni mgonjwa tangaza kwa mapigo yake kwa mapigo yake haribu magonjwa na neno reka maganda rima reka maganda rima reka maganda rima reka maganda rima reka maganda kama kuna raana zimefuata jamii yako tangaza alifanyika raana aliposurubishwa katika muti raana hazina nguvu raana hazina uwezo tangaza pigana na upanga pigana na upanga hey hey pigana na upanga pigana na upanga upanga bomoa michengo choma na neno teketeza na neno angaza mahali kuna giza na neno la Bwana shata maganda shata maganda omba kulingana na neno reka maganda reka maganda saumu ambayo Bwana ameichagua ni ya kuvunja nira Isaya 58 verse 6 siku ya leo navunja nira navunja vizuizi sitazuiliwa reka maganda sitazuiliwa reka maganda ma na naharibu mipaka yote naharibu vizuizi vyote hey ya rama hey ya rama ganda ma hey ya rama ganda rima reka maganda rima reka maganda rima reka maganda kwa sababu ya upako nira zitavunjika reka maganda kila nira vunjika sasa reka maganda rima reka maganda rima reka maganda rima reka maganda mashanda omba na neno pigana na neno pigana na neno wengine roho wa Mungu anaweka neno ndani yako tumia hilo neno kama upanga kama vile aliweka ndani ya Jeremiah tumia hilo neno kupomoa tumia kuharibu tumia kuangusha tumia kumoa tumia hilo neno kujenga reka maganda utajenga njia za kukalia mahali pamebomoka kwa vizazi vingi he mahali hakuna njia tengeneza njia njia za masomo masomo ya juu njia za ufanisi njia za utumishi mahali wengine walishindwa kupita tengeneza njia tengeneza njia 
njia za ndoa takatifu tengeneza njia tengeneza njia weka maganda rima Omba na neno tumia neno tumia neno tumia neno shata maganda adui anaye kupinga mwambie imeandikwa it is written it is written reka maganda i shall not die before my time the lord will give me my full lifespan because i serve him there will be no barrenness there will be no miscarriage hey shaka maganda reka maganda my destiny will not be aborted my dream oh my god shall not be aborted reka maganda reka maganda rima reka maganda rima zaya reka maganda rima zeria neno ni kama moto linateketeza linachoma kazi yote ya shetani in the name of jesus in the name of jesus liteketeze magonjwa ya kiraina liteketeze vifungo moto unachagua vifungo kama moto wa shadrak na meshak na abednego huu ni moto unachagua moto unachagua zile kamba zile nira zile minyororo zikachomeke ukamsifu bwana ukamsifu bwana ukamsifu bwana yes lord Rekabaganda Jesus is the lifter of my head Nakata kuinamishwa na shida Nakata kuinamishwa na hali Rekamaganda Rekamaganda Natumia upanga wa neno Ninakata kila pembe zilizosema hakuna mtu atainuka kila pembe za adui pembe za mamlaka ya uovu ninazikata usiku wa leo reka maganda reka maganda rima reka maganda mashanda reka maganda rima reka maganda reka maganda pembe za uchawi pembe za freemason pesha ma pesha ma pesha ma Peshama 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 nakata hizo pembe Peshama Peshama pembe za diviners Peshama Peshama na zikata Peshama pembe za maro ya Jezebel Peshama na zikata Peshama pembe zinazosema kanisa litainuka ninazikata pembe zinazosema hatutaona revival ninazikata ninazikata pembe pembe zinazozuilia tuingie kwa hatima ninazikata hey 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 kama zekaraya alivyoonyeshwa seremara wa kukata pembe zilizozuilia Yerusalemu na Yuda wainuke pembe zilizosema hakuna atakayeinua kichwa ah wewe ndiye seremara oh chukua upanga wa neno na useme hizo pembe pembe za primachua deva pembe za aibu peshama 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 Yes Lord Yes Lord Shelaba Rekabaganda ribazeria Rekabaganda rimazandaba Rekabaganda bashandaba 
Reka maganda bazeria. Reka maganda bashanda. Pembe za wachawi. Peshama. Peshama. Pembe za madhabau ya shetani. Ya kila aina. Ya liyo inuliwa. Kinyume na maisha yangu. Kinyume na jami yangu. Kinyume na muito wangu. Kinyume. Kinyume. Kinyume na kanisa. Peshama. 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 Chukua siraha ya neno. Pigana vita. Chukua upanga. Chukua upanga wa neno. Chukua upanga wa neno. Shaka maanda. Chukua moto wa neno. Chukua nyundo ya neno. Reka maganda. Reka maganda. Chukua nuru ya neno. Maari kuna giza. Tangaza neno. Reka maganda rima. Reka maganda rima. Reka maganda rima. Reka maganda rima. Pigana na uovu Sema sita shindwa Neno rabwana liko dani yangu Uovu hauta nishinda Dhambi haita nishinda Oh my God Nimeficha neno rabwana dani yangu Nimeficha neno dani yangu Nimeficha neno dani yangu Oh my God Oh my God Shetarama Reka maganda Reka maganda riba zeria Kuna watu wengi wanafunguliwa Utatoka hapa ukiwa mwepesi Oh my God Mizigo yote inaanguka Yes Sela baganda Rika baganda bashanda Shata ramaganda Tangaza neno Muambie shetani yeti ezriten Reka maganda rima He became a curse Reka maganda He became poor By his stripes Reka maganda He who is in me is greater I refute every time No weapon forge against me Reka maganda bashanda Let the poor say I am leecher Let the sick say I am healed Because of what the Lord has done Reka maganda rima Reka maganda bashanda The Bible says Ask me of the nations Kuna watu naona hata passport zao hapa Itisha mataifa Na buwana hata kupatia Yawe ulithi wako Reka maganda rima Reka maganda I break Reka maganda Any barrier Hindering you to the nations I release your international doors Na achiria milango yako Ya mataifa Ifunguke Ifunguke Reka maganda rima Reka maganda Reka maganda Isaiah 6 verse 11 Na fungua marango yako Usiku na mchana Hayata fungua Iri upoke Utajiri wa mataifa Reka maganda Kira maari barakazako ziko Kira maari ulithi wako uko Ninaitisha sasa Ninaitisha sasa Let every blessing With your name on it Rocket you tonight Rocket you tonight Makataya maganda Na kunganisha With your destiny helpers Reka maganda bashanda Reka maganda rima Let your destiny help us come Wanatoka mbali Na karibu Wanakuja sasa Hata walio suiriwa Reka maganda rima Reka maganda rima Reka maganda rima Reka maganda rima zeria Reka maganda rima Reka maganda bashanda Reka maganda rima Reka maganda rima
simama tuombe ombi la mwisho Biblia inatufundisha Biblia inatufundisha ya kwamba wakati wana wa Israeli walikuwa wanaendelea mbele na ushindi mkubwa Barak mfalme wa Moab akaangalia vile wana Israeli wanaendelea mbele na ushindi mkubwa akaona hawa watanifagia lazima nione vile hawata songa na huo ushindi i am paraphrasing na akaenda kutafuta baram ili awarani awadhoofishe praise the name of the living god shetani akiona vile unasonga bele anaona your momentum to your destiny anaweza jaribu kukudhoofisha praise the name of the living god na anaweza inua madhabahu anaweza kutumia makuhani wa uovu wa kudhoofishe usiku wale nataka tu, tuombe kinyume na kila madhabahu ya uovu na makuhani wake katika jina la Yesu walio inuka wadhoofishe kanisa wadhoofishe ndoa wadhoofishe mwito wadhoofishe biashara yako katika jina la Yesu usiku wa leo hatutawasamehea katika jina la Yesu tunateketeza madhabahu yao yote na moto katika jina la Yesu tunasimama kinyume na madhabahu yote ya Baramu na madhabahu yote ya Simeoni Muchawi in the mighty name of Jesus madhabahu yote ya divination madhabahu yote ya Freemason waabuduo shetani walioinua madhabahu wadhoofishe kanisa ma shata maganda reka maganda ma reka maganda rima reka maganda ma reka maganda haribu na maguani wao reka maganda ma hesha maganda ma reka maganda ma reka maganda wengine wanaweza kuwa tafa mlimani hesha maganda ma reka maganda ma reka maganda ma reka maganda wakujao kujificha katikati ya wana wa Mungu reka maganda ma reka maganda ma hawana nafasi hesha maganda reka maganda riba reka maganda ma hey rama we release judgment reka maganda toajiria hukumu ya Mungu hesha maganda hesha maganda reka maganda hawatazuiria makusudi ya Mungu hawatazuiria hesha maganda hawatazuiria hati mazetu hawatazuiria vipa wa vietu hawatazuiria na mwito wetu reka maganda maro ya jezebeli reka maganda hesha maganda reka maganda ma reka maganda rima reka maganda we destroy you by fire meka hatama reka maganda reka maganda every ancient altar in my father's house in my mother's house hinder my destiny i bring you down i overthrow you mungu akawaambia wana wa israeli mukifika nchi ya hadi muharibu madhabahu yao reka maganda reka maganda rima every ancient altar speaking against my destiny i bring you down i bring you down peshama 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 every ancient altar in the city of nakuru in the county of nakuru fighting the church fighting the purposes of god i bring you down every ancient altar in the nation of kenya fighting the purposes of god i bring you down i bring you down i bring you down hey kata kuzuiriwa utasonga bere utamaliza na ushindi 
utamaliza na nguvu hautadhoofishwa doa yako mwito wako kipawa chako biashara yako kazi yako hautadhoofishwa waliona ushindi wako wakainuka wakudhoofishe hawana nguvu The God who answered by fire is our redeemer. The God who answered by fire, let fire consume every demonic altar. In the name of Jesus, every ancient altar. In the name of Jesus, Peshama, Peshama, every strong man, every strong man, Peshama, Rekamaganda, Peshama, we break your hold, we break your power. We set the captives free. Oh my God. Oh my king. Even the captain, even the captives of the fierce of the mighty shall be delivered. Hata mateka wa wenye nguvu hata mateka wa wenye nguvu usiku wa leo wanakombolewa haijalishi in this corporate anointing kwa upako wa pamoja wamekukimbiza peke yako lazima uachiliwe kwa upako wa pamoja one will chase a thousand but two will chase ten thousand yes we have the victory. Hey! Kori bashanda raba, reka maganda raba shanda, reka baganda riba zeria, reka maganda raba shanda ba. Reka maganda raba zanda baganda Reka maganda raba Shata ramaganda rima zanda Reka maganda bazanda Reka maganda bashanda Reka maganda rima Reka maganda rima Reka maganda Maraika aliye tolea baramu upanga Akienda kurani wana wa Israeli Huyo maraika atoe upanga Kwa makuhani wote wa ufarme wa giza awazuirie na uovu wao hey! koriba shanda raba reka baganda raba shanda reka maganda bwana usiku wa leo tuna hukumu madhabahu yote yaliyoshika hati mazetu Hatima za jamii zetu Hatima za muji Hatima ya taifa Madhabawi yote Yaliyote kanyara Hatima zetu Siku ya leo Tunawanenea hukumu Ya moto Waro mtakatifu Tunasema sasa Achiria hatima zetu Achiria jamii zetu Achiria vipawa vietu Achiria mwito wetu Achiria taifa retu Hey! Hey! Hey shama! Hey shama! Hey shama! Madhabahu yote ya kigeni Ya nayo pandwa katika taifa hiri Tunasema sasa Miungu ambayo Haikumba bingu na ichi Iangamie katika taifa la Kenya the gods that did not create the heavens and the earth let them perish from the face of Kenya yes Kenya will not be hijacked to our divine destiny in the name of Jesus God is thwarting the purposes of the peoples the purposes of the nations Again is the will of God. Again is the divine agenda for this nation. 
we overthrow every evil agenda peshama pekatama periyama peshama gandarima peshama gandarima perish with your money peshama gandarima perish with your money peshama gandarima reka maganda kenya belongs to jesus peshama gandarima yale maombi yanaombwa katika taifa hili na yale tumeomba kwa miaka mingi Kenya haitaanguka mikononi mwa maadui tunakataa tunakataa Kenya iko mikononi mwa Jehova ye may God arise like a terrible mighty warrior and deliver Kenya yes somebody show the name of Jesus the name above all names number 3 number 4 Number 5 Number 6 As we shout number 7 Let every wall of Jericho come down Let every evil altar burn with fire Let every stubborn barrier be broken Let there be healing Let there be deliverance Let there be freedom Number 7 Jesus Yeah We worship you We worship you We receive our freedom We receive our healing We receive our deliverance We are free We are going to finish strong in the name of Jesus hey! receive your victory tonight kama hivyo umeshangilia vivyo hivyo ndivyo utakavyomaliza na ushindi katika maisha yako pokea neema utamaliza na ushindi koriba shandaba rekabaganda hizo ni kelele za washindi hizo ni kelele za ushindi in the name of jesus we receive our victory tonight we receive our breakthrough tonight receive an open heaven in your life in your family in your business in your career in the mighty name of Jesus receive divine strength to finish strong inua mikono yako nikuombe sema bwana yesu nimesikia neno lako na kutetemeka ya kwamba kuna watu walianza vizuri lakini wakamaliza vibaya ninakuomba nihurumie ya kwamba sitamaliza vibaya sitamaliza na aibu sitamaliza na kushindwa sitatekwa na maadui wangu ni watumikie napokea neema ya kupaju kama tai kuanzia siku ya leo nipe nguvu ya kumaliza na ushindi nikuletee utukufu katika maisha haya na baadaye niingie katika uzima wa milele asante Yesu nisamee kila dhambi kila jambo adui anaweza kujishikilia nimetubu leo 
nimepokea mwanzo mpya nimepokea mafuta mabichi pembe yangu umeinua kinyume na pembe za adui na ninapokea neema na nguvu ya kumaliza vizuri katika jina la Yesu amen glory to god we worship you somebody celebrate the lord he is worthy he is worthy he is worthy he has done it he has done it for us he has heard our cry he has heard our prayer oh my god receive all the glory ata wale walikuwa wamewekewa mitego the snare has been broken tonight in the name of jesus Autanaswa na mitego ya adui wale waliwekewa blocks na barriers zimeondolewa katika jina la Yesu the breaker hey has gone ahead of you in the name of Jesus Mika 2:13 the bible says uh, in the amplified version if we can read together the book of Micah 213 can we read it together the bible says one who breaks open the way will go up before them they will break through the gate and go out their king will pass through before them the lord are their head hey We give you praise. Hallelujah. The amplified version says the breaker, the Messiah will go up before them. They will break through, pass in through the gate and go out through it. And their king will pass on before them. The Lord at their head. The Messiah, our breaker. Somebody declare, I receive the breaker's anointing. Nothing will stand on my way in Jesus' name. Amen. I feel like we need to sing a song of celebration. Praise the name of the living God. How many are ready to sing a song of celebration? Praise the name of the living God. Tutaimba kama wana wa Israeli wakiongozwa na Miriam makiwa na darama walipoona bahari ya Shamu imepasuka Farao na jeshi lake wamegalikishwa na mimi nakutangazia maadui wote waliokufuata wasikufuate tena. Oh my God, the horse and the rider in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, they have been thrown into the sea. In the name of Jesus. Uh, let us crown this session uh, with a celebration of praise. Uh, places that we put. Jehoshaphat, Aliambiwa, Weka Waibaji. And when they were singing, the Lord laid an ambush. As we sing, a song of celebration. May the Lord ambush your enemies tonight. The enemies of your destiny. The enemies of the purposes of God. In your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. They shall not prevail. 